Welcome back. This is a chapter about algebraic expression. What is algebraic? And who is this person? Let me introduce him to you. He is an Arabic mathematician and his name is Muhammad I Musa al Khwarizmi. He is the father of algebra and he has written a very famous book called Al Jarb wa Mukabala. Al Jarb, Al Jarb, Al Jarb algebra. Oh, algebra is derived from the name of his book called Al Jarb. That, that happened thousand years ago. How can his invention relate to our life now? Let me show you. Coming back to the life now. Wow, we're going for a holiday in Samuel Lagoon. Here is an admission ticket. So for adult, we have to pay 138 ringgit Malaysia. For a child or senior citizen, senior citizen is adult too, but his age is older than 60 years old. He or she has to pay 113 ringgit Malaysia. So I'm going to calculate the total cost that my family has to pay. So my family, there are two senior citizens who are my parents three adults, me and my sisters, and one child. So altogether, I have to pay three adults, which is three multiplied by 138 ringgit Malaysia, plus three more, who is this three? It's one child and my parents, two of them, multiplied by 130 ringgit Malaysia. So the total price I'm going to pay to Samuel Lagoon is 753 ringgit Malaysia. But this is only for my family. Can I produce or can I create a formula that each and every family can use in common? Oh, we can put it as total cost is a number of adults. So you can count how many number of adults that you are going, multiply by the ticket for adult, plus the number of child or senior citizen who are going multiply by the ticket for them. So you get the total price of it. So welcome to the world of algebra. I'm going to show you how algebra is going to play a role in our holiday to Samuel Lagoon. First, for an unknown value, Wei Zhi Shu, a value that we don't know now, we can always represent it with a letter. For example, the number of adults who are going for a holiday, let's say in your family, it could be 5, it could be 7, it could be 2, or it could be 1. Let this number be M. And then the number of children or senior citizens who are going for a holiday in your family, it could be 12 of them, or 10, or 5, or even 1. So represent this number with N. And this number of children or senior citizens who are going that you do not know now, but you know later on. So to put it into a formula, we can say that the total cost for a family to go for this holiday is number of adults, which is M, multiplied by 138 ringgit Malaysia, plus number of children or senior citizens who are going for a holiday, multiplied by the ticket, 113 ringgit each. So the formula I can come up with is 138 multiplied by m plus 113 multiplied by n. So for any family, for example for your family, you just have to calculate how many adults times 138 plus how many children or senior citizen plus times 113, then you will get a total cost for fam holiday. So this is how algebra can place in our current world today. It helps us to calculate in a more convenient way, in a more easy way. Let's look at this. I'm going to show you how we can use alphabets to represent variables. So in my case here, there are three persons, Mr. Lim 
and Ji Azlan and Madam Kavita. So Mr. Lim says, I donate 50 ringgit Malaysia to Yayasan Kebajikan Negara every month. So 50 ringgit is a number that you know. So it is an it is a known value, a known value. And for Anji Azlan and An Madam Kavita, Anji Azlan says, Oh, every month I donate the same amount of money to YKN. Same amount means how much? I do not know. So this is so called unknown value, a value that I do not know now. For Madam Kavita, she says, the amount that I donate to YKN every month depends on the profit earned from the shop. Oh, so Kavita has a shop. So how much money he donate to the shop depends. So do you know how much Kavita pay? No, you don't know. So it is an unknown value. And this unknown value can be categorized as two. First, we call it as fixed value. Fixed value, Ding Shu, is a number or a quantity that is constant anytime. Constant means Ding. You will not change anymore. Constant also means same amount. So, Anji Aslan's donate same amount to YKN every month. This is an unknown value and it is also a fixed value. On the other hand, Madam Kavita donated an amount which is also unknown. You do not know how much she pays. And this value depends on the profit. If she earns more, perhaps she will donate more. If she earns lesser, perhaps she will donate lesser. So this is a varied value. Varied means bian shu. Bian shu means this is a quantity that can change anytime. So for a known value, it is a number that you already know. For example, Mr. Lim donates 50 ringgit per month. Unknown value is a number that you do not know. And this unknown value can be categorized as two types. One is fixed value. One is varied value, which changes anytime. So if we can represent it with a alphabet, so Mr. Lim donates 50 ringgit to YKN, there is no need for alphabet because 50 is a fixed value and we can put 50 straight away. But for unknown value, Anji Aslan's and Madam Kavita's number, we do not know how much. So we can use an alphabet to represent. And normally it is a small capital letter. We can use X, Y, T, H, Z, any alphabet, as long as it is small capital letter. So here we put it as X represents amount of money donated by Anji Aslan. And I put Y equals to amount of money donated by Madam Kavita. And X and Y, they are different value. Why? Because the money that Anji Aslan pays is different compared to the money that Madam Kavita has donated every month. So I use different alphabet to represent them. Now, let's go through some of the examples here and you tell me which one is a fixed value and which one is a varied value. Justify your answer, give me your reason for it and represent it with an alphabet. That is the very first step of how you can start out with algebra. A. The traveling time taken by Howler from his house to the school every day. So Howler moves from his house to the school every day. So his traveling time it could be 20 minutes, it could be 30 minutes. So is this fixed or is it a variable value? Hmm. What do you think? For me, I think it is a variable value. Why? Because sometimes there could be traffic jam, sometimes it could be road accidents, sometimes it could be car broken that stops the car from moving. So all these 
causes the traveling time to be a varied value because the traveling time changes every day. Therefore, I can say that it is a varied value and for time, I usually use the very first alphabet which is T in a small capital letter represents the travelling time taken by Howler from his house to the school every day. Next, the number of days in a week. Number of days in a week. For this week, there are seven days. For next week, there are seven days. Huh, and for every week, it is seven days in a week. So, it is fixed. Because the number of days in a week is constant. Ding shu. It doesn't change. Every week, there is seven days. So, I will say the number of days in a week is an unknown number and I can represent it with D. A small capital letter of D represents it.